Hey, hey everybody, this is Melina from ScrapbookingWithMe.com and Me Crafty Scrapper here on YouTube and Instagram over on Facebook at Me Crafty Scrapper Creates. And today is another episode of M Scrapbusters. And we are making some double circle tucks. Um, I got inspired by these circles that came in one of the kits that I bought from Pink Monarch Prints. And when I saw these, I thought, hmm, I could make my own little three and a half inch circles. That's what size these are. I cut them with my die cut machine, my big shot machine. If you don't have a die cutting machine, don't worry about it. Just get you a um, glass, a drinking glass of some kind, put it on your paper, trace around it, cut it out. No big deal. Um, you don't have to have a die cutting machine to do this. But... I saw something similar not too long ago, um, and when I saw these, it reminded me of it. Get another circle, so these are three and a half inches. I'm going to punch some one and a half inch and place them down here and either sew them on or just glue that one little part. And we're gonna have a tuck space here. And then when you put this in your journal on the page, you can just glue it here in the bottom and then you'll have a tuck space there. So that's the double aspect of it. And I can't wait to do this because this was some bigger scraps. And then I thought maybe I could cut out a couple of these also. And those would be our bases. And for these solid cardstock pieces, we could collage on them if the, we wanted to. Um, for these pieces, they probably just need some inking. And then we could put some type of other circle on it. So let's just get this scrap paper that is this. And I will explain this. It's not, I did not cut myself, hurt myself. Um, my acrylic nail is popping off because I haven't been to have them filled in in like, I don't know, a month and a half. And um, so anyways, I didn't want it to get caught on anything. So I went ahead and just put a bandage there before anybody asks because I know I will have someone to ask. And that is perfectly fine. I appreciate y'all um, looking out for me and being concerned for me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So, it's going to be kind of like that, but we'll need some darker elements on this one just to um, get some more interest on it. But if we sew it on or glue it on there, so then you've got that tuck space and then you'll have that tuck space back there. We will put one of these in our little idea journal, signature, whatever, and um, show you what it absolutely looks like finished. But these would be so quick and easy, especially if you didn't want to do any collaging and you just had some beautiful uh, pattern papers. These would go super duper quick. And you can make them any size. I just chose to make some three and a half inch circles. You can make them smaller if you want to. You can make them larger if you want to. But now you just have to remember how big is my page on my journal. So you don't want to make it too big so it doesn't fit anymore. Okay, so let me get, I've already inked both of these and we'll need to add some more decoration because it is a little too plain looking right now. Okay, we'll come to this page and we go to the bottom in that corner and then you glue here and then you glue around about here and you have that tuck space there and that tuck space there. It's just another little element to your junk journals and um, something that's not rectangular or square, just a little something different. So let's do some decorating. I hear up Lila growling in the living room. She must hear somebody at the door. That's usually when she starts her um, defensiveness <laughs> is when someone's at the door. And here lately, we've been having quite a few 
uh, packages and stuff. So she's gotten a lot of her barking practice in. She used to have no sound whatsoever, and we thought, oh gracious, she's never going to <laughs> bark. She's never going to, I mean, be playful, anything, because she's not speaking. She's not barking. Look at that, how talented I am. Get ink all over my sugar bell bottle. But she has come into her own here lately. She is a year and three months, four months old. We just took her to have her shots the other day, her annual shots, and they always goo and gaw over her at the vet's office. And the assistant came out, <laughs> brought her out to the car and said, she is adorable. Everybody wants her. <laughs> And um, she said she weighs a whole three pounds and two ounces. And I mean, she's an adult, y'all. That's, that's as big as she's going to get. All right. I have thought of this little idea. And instead of poking a hole in there first to help me out, I'm just putting that bulb clip all the way through it with my brute strength. And then, okay, so there's a little charm. And that's those um, that I showed you the other day in the video. Um, the Tim Holtz Ideology number tokens. And then just a piece of trim from my stash. And then we'll probably need to pull that bulb clip. Bub, that bulb clip that way so we don't have so much bulk on the back. And then I think that little circle needs a little something something on it too. So maybe we can find some type of little die cut or something. I guess I shouldn't be tapping with that fingernail, huh? <laughs> oh, you're so funny, Melina. You got a nail that's popping up off of your nail bed and you're tapping it against the desk. All right, so all of these are too big. So see if you make these smaller, you're going to have to come up with some tiny, tiny, tiny little um, embellishments for them. So just um, remember that whenever you are making yours, if you make them a different size. See, all of these die cuts are too big. So let's go back to the drawing board. There's one of those... Um, the edge of a book page or a coffee dyed paper or something that I just zigzag stitched on. I love those just to add them to the edges of pages and stuff. Cute little easy decoration. Okay, I found a few of the Tim Holtz um, ephemera packs that will probably work on this. So these are the number strips. These are the labels, and these are the ensemble snippets. And so there's a little label here I'm going to ink. And it's going to come out over that little one and a half inch circle, but I'm fine with that. And then the little famous Tim Holtz pointy finger that he has in quite a few of his packs. And I need to clean off my sugar bell bottle, don't I? Because it's got that ink on it. You know what? I'll probably just keep using it and get the ink all over me and then later go, where did that come from? And then this tiny, tiny, tiny little pointy finger. And point it toward that. And we could even do just the tiniest of little journaling on that. How cute is that? All right, I'm going to let that dry. And let's do a couple with some collaging on it. With some scraps of paper. And I'm just going to put, let's do glue stick. How about that? Let me get a book out. And let's do some gluey gluey. Get a little messy. 
you know, usually in every one of my videos I get messy, even if I'm not collaging. Let's do glue stick and put that on and then, you know, whatever is left outside of the circle will cut off in just a moment. My favorite way to collage, just stick everything on there and then come back after everything's dry and cut it off. Let's do a little bit of book page. Oop, we gotta make sure that it's, well, we don't have to. We can put another piece of something, something right here. Let's just ink up that edge and then this little piece here and then another layer on the bottom let's go with some food color dyed paper and I want the torn edge up and then Another little piece of something under that. Let's do this stitched paper. This is cool looking. Just a little bit there since we're going to layer on top. And go all the way across making sure you don't see any of your circle anymore. And then one more piece of something. Alright. A little bit there and then stick that there and see if we can get our original circle up we can <laughs> very easily in fact and then I'm going to use my sticky scissors and cut around the edge of it so these can be as simple or as complex as you like you can just use pattern paper that you have in your stash, cut your circles, and then punch your other little circle out of your scrap bowl. Or you can collage it and make it something totally new and fresh. Just like I had this navy blue cardstock in my stash that I was never, ever, ever going to use. It's just too bright. Okay, that is so pretty. And now I'm going to ink the edges of this. Oh my goodness, I'm in love with this. It is so pretty. I love the layered up effect anyway. And yes, you can do these uh, either side. They don't have to all just be on the left side like I did this one. You can go on the right side wherever. You can even go on the in the middle on the side doesn't have to be on the bottom and let's put our book to the side for a second and then I think I want to dirty up just a little bit through here okay and I want to glue down this a little better than it is because it's sticking up and then figure out see I don't want to cover up that stitched stuff there so I do want to go on this side I might go up just a little higher than I did on that one but let's figure out what paper we want to put for our little circle if that wasn't so bold I would totally go I would totally go with that to go along with that um, black stitching there but let's look at something that's not as crazy. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm really going with the soft white tones today, aren't I? I'll come away from it eventually. <laughs> but that's cute. All right, ink this one. I am inking today with walnut stain. These could totally be mass made too, y'all. Easy peasy mass making and I think I'm going to just barely put a little bit of glue on this 
and then I'm going to stitch just right through here I'm going to stitch on this one okay just a couple of zigzag stitches on there and it is ready to uh, poke something right back behind it and then glue this down into our signature and have something um, behind that what do I need to decorate with let's do let's find a tiny little like a little short label in here I wish I had enough containers for all of my little ephemera bits I just don't though I like that 1000 and another little piece of something underneath that would be cute so who out there knew that I was going to find a tiny little butterfly show me your hands raise them high yep I know I'm butterfly crazy oh well there are worse things to be let's put just a little bit of glue on that label and of course you know don't put it out here because it'll get stuck and then you won't have a tuck space you'll just have a pretty circle nothing will be able to go behind there I mean look how pretty this is hardly any effort it takes hardly any time I mean finding tiny little die cuts to decorate it with is the most time-consuming part of the whole thing but that collage circle right there that is lots prettier than that you know all right this is one that I think I should just go ahead and put in we're going to do more but and I'll put some more on the other side but this is one that I just really think needs to go ahead and go into my little idea signature I've made here let's find a oh that's the middle yeah let's go ahead and do that that is so cute I love it love it love it love it all right I'm going to put glue like just a little half circle kind of not even a half circle quarter of a circle whatever and put that down and we are going to let that dry and we'll come back and I'll show you the little stuff I poke back behind it too cute pretty 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 all right let's do another I really want to collage some more so let's do this other blue one I just love it let's do some book page at the top this is my really really fragile old vintage book page that will not be able to be used you know elsewhere so let's collage with it that's always my favorite thing to do with those book pages that are just not um, something you'll be able to use as a pocket or something like that all right this I'm going to put it down there because it's not long enough to go all the way across let's go ahead and use some of this it is the pieces I had left over from where I cut those let's put a little bit of glue across that book page okay another line and let's do this Tim Holtzy stuff right here so pretty just strips of scraps 
And the rest of them we can do without all of the extra collaging. I just like to collage, y'all know that. Um, let's do, let's get a little, let's get a little crazy. As Bob Ross said, let's get a little crazy. I'm going to put that there. A little animal print. Let's go crazy, he'd say. <laughs> and he put this monstrosity of a tree uh, up in the middle. I mean, just put that trunk of that tree right in the middle of what he just beautifully painted. And every time he does it, I go, <gasps> Pop, Mr. Ross, what are you doing? It's so pretty. What are you doing? But it always came out gorgeous. So I say let's do a Bob Ross and let's just get crazy. All right, let's cut off all of the excess. That bottom piece is not dry yet. It's moving. Cut all around. And you know, when you're collaging, before you cut off the excess, it kind of looks like a hot mess. And then, you cut off all that excess and it's like, ooh, I made that. I made something pretty. All the way around. Oh, it's darling. Okay, let's get all this sticky mess up and then find any spots that need a little extra gluey glue okay I think we're good now I need to kind of wipe off the excess glue off the edges so that I can distress ink oh this is cute one Cutie cute. Oh, I love that. Let's kind of dirty up this animal print. And then let's go on this side this time. Yep, I think so. Ooh. <laughs> All sticky. Um, and how about... Ooh, this side of this Tim Holtz. So cute. And my wording is that way, so I'll go that way so I don't make anybody angry. <laughs> I'll put the wording the right side up. Okay, and then a little bit of squishy squish right there. Oh gracious, this is pretty. And no, I don't want those flowers. But I'm thinking maybe this tiny little postcard off to the back side. <laughs> My fingers are gluey. With this over the top or maybe just the butterfly. Oh, it don't match. I don't like it. Let's find something else. And I didn't find anything that I liked as far as a little die cut for this one. So when all else fails and you work on the circles, just cut out another circle. <laughs> just punch another circle. Okay. And I mean, this is just going to be decoration. So it's going to go about there. I don't want to cover up my words. And then I'm going to get a little label of some kind that's kind of matchy-matchy. I'm not huge on having to match everything, but I really did not like that butterfly at all. Ooh, that's pretty. Me like that. See, my nails are getting so long. 
I can hardly do what I need to do without I'm getting them in, in the way. And I do play piano. I play by ear and it is nothing to write home about. I've never had a formal lesson, anything like that. But, you know, I can't play the piano with fingernails like this, especially when one's trying to come off. <laughs> so I got to get that taken care of. But we've got storms coming in where we live and I just I cannot stand driving in the rain um, and it is very rainy today so I'm getting all the extra sticky off that's the only thing I don't like about glue stick it's just it takes so long for it to dry okay that one has got its little tuck spot there and then we've got the collaged tuck spot behind it beautiful okay this one should be dry enough for us to put little somethings back behind it. So if you have a tiny little piece, let's go, here's some paper, and then here's another piece of paper. And then you have, um, I don't know, a little die cut or something that you would like to keep along with those little pieces or whatever you just put behind it okay so there you go so now you've got that little tuck space and then you've got more little tuck spaces back behind it huh these are so easy let's just go ahead and finish all of these you could even ooh, I didn't think about this you could even on these that are so pretty you don't really want to cover them up with collage you could um, collage the little circle so you could do, let me put this off to the side. I will bring them all back to the camera whenever we're done with them. So if you had a really wild piece of paper, like this, for instance, that I'm never going to use on anything else, and decided mm, I want to just collage over this. So this is a very thin piece of paper, so we'll be good to... Um, do collage over the top of it and we're just going to kind of cover all of it we don't have to um, cover every inch of it because we're going to use our one and a half inch punch on it whenever we get it pretty covered so let's use some of this food color paper and glue that down there now it's one and a half inches so you might want to go a little more shallow narrow with your pieces so they'll all be seen but you can put pieces on top of pieces it doesn't have to be lined up like we did that other as long as it's glued down well and then get your paper punch wherever you feel you need to punch I'll we'll put this way down here now this is something I would use that other paper that pokey dot paper is not something that I would ever use so here is our little collaged one and a half inch circle that we can put over the top of one of these. See, look at that, how cute. All right, let's ink this one. And then of course, another variation is you could collage both circles. Lovely. And I'm thinking we need a little, yep, I think we need a little bit of color to this one. So I'm going to use this butterfly on this one. Right in the middle, probably, of that little circle. So you can still see all of the stuff that we collaged on it. Okay, and then just a little... 
bit of glue for that way. And I want this to show, so let's go this way over on this side. Oh, I like that one. It's so pretty. And I do believe that one is calling for a little bit of zigzag stitching right there. So I'll do that in just a moment. And then, ooh, look at that one. How pretty. Now see the floral prints on that side. So this one's just calling for your smaller circle on this side. And how about a doubled up book page? Do we think that would work as a tuck? So get a book page and we're going to fold it over. I don't want my brittle book pages. Sorry, I'm leaning over. Okay, here is some stained book page. Let's see if we can get that. Oh yeah, it'll work just like that. And then glue the two pieces of the book page together. Line that up. Smoosh that glue down. And then do your inking around it. And then you're inking around your three and a half inch piece. Okay, and then glue this on with just a little dab. I need to put some more Barely Arts glue in my Sugar Bell bottle, don't I? And then just figure out, you know, what pattern you want at the top. And then if you want something over there. That's cute. I like that. So just a um, number label and a piece from that ensemble snippet collection. It's so dark you don't even need anything else as far as ink on that one. And then you'll see that I uh, come across the edge on this side. But that's fine because when you add it into your journal so this one is going to go on this side of the page. You go all the way to the corner, you still have plenty of room. So even if you have something dangling off the side, that's fine. You can add charms to these like I did that one. You can even add the charm down here. You could add some bling, like some uh, flat back pearls. When I try to say that a little too fast, it comes out a little weird. So flat back pearls <laughs> uh, to that. Um, just, you know, a little bitty bling pearl or a rhinestone or something like that. It's not going to give you too much um, bulk for your journal. So three more, I think we can do that. And then that would be two, four, six, eight done in this quick as a flash video. I mean, that is quick, y'all. We could do just a plain Jane kind of circle, something we don't care is covered up. And these tiny little portraits that are in that ensemble pack. And by the way, all of these can be bought at scrapbookingwithme.com. That is my shop that I co-own with my mother. So y'all come over and shop with us. Um, anytime I say shop, that's what I'm talking about. Let's see what type of, oh yeah, let's do that. Okay, this is a piece of that Tim Holtz wallpaper. It's got the same design all over it, so I'm good with some of it being covered up. And I think I'm going to go this way with this one, just so you can see more of that. I've inked around that, and I think I will put that up there and maybe a little word label on the bottom of that one. And I think every one of these I'm going to do some zigzag stitching on, except that one. I like that one as is. So let's go there with that one. 
and then I'm just going to glue at the bottom on this little portrait. Cutest little thing. You do good, Timothy. You do good. Okay, and then that was too big. Let's get a short one. How about part one? Or, or part Roman numeral. <laughs> oh, how about come in back off of it like I did that one. Yeah, I don't like that part one. Let's go with, what about this green one in here that I probably can't get my finger on? There it is. <laughs> yeah, that was too long. <laughs> That one's not, though. That one's cute, and that one kind of goes along with it. Great goodness, my fingernails. This is getting ridiculous. Okay, and then pretty much the whole thing except for the back piece because that one's going to be hanging off. Cute. I like that. Oh, look in there. I didn't even ink around the big piece. That's easy enough to get done. All right. Let's go ahead and ink these up. I don't think any of those are going to work because I've got really blue and purples going today. And none of those are that. So I like that idea. If you don't really like the uh, color of your circle, which I love that wallpaper piece, but um, if you don't like the color of your circle, you can always go with something else and put just cover it completely. And that's still a tuck space. It just is a little bit taller than the rest of them. So now let's go with, I really like that book page one. Let's do a lighter book page on this one. And hope that my punch doesn't eat it. Oh, did we do good? We did good. Yay. Okay. And figure out what side looks best and I think that side. So yeah, this one's a little bit lighter. It doesn't have as much age on it as that one did. And let's ink that up. I think I'm just going to put a number label on this one. And let's go... Let's go in the center on the bottom center. That'll be something a little bit different. A little different placement. Okay, and let's go with that part one that I didn't want to use while ago. And go all the way across with this glue. Let's go down just a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead and use the last bit of this gold paper. That's pretty, but I would like to cover up most of it. Yep. There's a piece gone. A uh, scrappity dappity gone, gone, gone. Okay, I like that. And it'll need a little something, something extra too to cover up some of this wild gold stuff. And I am going to go in this blank spot here. And I think it needs to go like that. I'm going to go ahead and glue that on to my little circle. And then I think I'm going to go in with my one inch circle. Get rid of that scrap piece. Yep, and layer that on there. 
little bit of glue where I want it on the other circle like so and then figure out where I want my glue on this circle oh I love getting rid of this wild paper that I'll never use all right let's go this way with it some pretty there are those three and then yeah I didn't even get to cutting those out <laughs> it's okay we use scraps today so and then on these I sewed around those and I might cut off some of those strings that one that is so pretty I love it little portrait on there so I stitched around all these and I made it as messy as possible that's how I like it <laughs> uh, because um, if I didn't make it as messy as possible y'all would actually see how horrible I am at sewing so there is my double circle tucks I love them I love the uniqueness of them this one is by far my favorite and it is the reason why it's in my journal <laughs> I hope that y'all have enjoyed this video and if you make some double circle tucks I want to see them so use the hashtag M's scrapbusters and that way I can find you and leave you some love if you post a video or if you just post pictures on Facebook or whatever Instagram use that hashtag so I can find you y'all have a blessed day Bye, y'all.